Welcome to Naresh Technologies. So, this is Srinivas. In the last session, we discussed the classification of methods. So, we know the importance of methods as well as the variables to write a program. So, here it is. So, now we are going to start a first application, but before going to start writing the first program, so we need to discuss about two things. So, what are the two things? First one is a first one is library of C language, library of C language. Second one is IDE, right. After completion of these sessions only, so we can start the first application development. So, here it is. The first one is a what is C library and what it contains. So, generally, so with our knowledge, here it is simply we can understand to write a program variables and methods very very important variables and methods or we can call it as a functions these two are very very important. So, what is a library means to develop our C application to develop our C program so many predefined things are available. So, predefined things also variables and methods only, but here it is a library is a collection of header files C library. C library is a collection of header files. Sir, what is a header file and why they divided that C library into header files means just consider in our computer hard disk why we are dividing into number of volumes number of drives and in each drive. So, why we are creating folders why we are not placing the complete information into a single place in a single drive why we are creating number of folders means for easy access that we can understand. Folders creation means the related information we always placing into a particular folder. So, that uh, whenever a requirement comes then directly we can access that particular folder only. So, that is easy access policy. So, in the same way in a library also so many predefined things are available. So, many predefined functions and predefined variables are available in a C language. All these are divided into groups related groups called header files right. So, we can call it as a folders here it is some of the header files stdio.h standard input output library conio.h console input output library string dot h string dot h graphics dot h math dot h dos dot h so many header files are present a collection of header files is called c library here it is stdio dot h C O N I O dot H string dot H graphics dot H math dot H DOS dot H all these are a standard input output header file. So, contains some of the functions standard functions. So, to print a message on the console printf function already ready no need to write the code once again. I just want to print a message on the output screen from my program right. So, directly you can use a printf function. If you want to read something from the end user in your C application for scanning purpose scanf function they have given predefined functions. And second one is a console related functions. If you want to clear the console, clear the console means clearing the output screen, clear screen function is available. And if you want to read a character from the console, here it is get ch function is available. And next for example, if you want to manipulate the strings, if you want to know the length of the string or if you want to reverse all the characters in the string. Here it is S T R L E N to find the length of the string, S T R R E V to reverse all the elements in the string. And next one come to this graphics. C programming allows to write a graphical programming also, some 2D games also we can develop using C programming. And here it is, for example, if you want to set color, 
so drawing color if you want to set a background color set bk color and so many methods are available hundreds of hundreds of methods available in a graphics.h header file we'll see when time comes and here it is a math.h right here it is some random number if you want to generate is present in a math.h if you want to find out what is the power of a particular number we can go for power function dos dot h dos means what is a disk operating system operating system related information if you want to access from your c program then we can go for dos dot h here it is for example what is a get date and next get time get time such type of functions available in a dos dot h so header file is a collection of related predefined functions and c library is a collection of header files c library is a collection of header files and every header file is a collection of related set of predefined functions so this is what we called a library a set of predefined functions sir why they are bifurcating into number of header files for easy access question yourself why we are creating folders into our computer easily you can remember this concept so this is what is c library and the next concept what is ide so here it is what is ide ide stands for integrated development environment integrated development environment so generally if you want to execute any program right one environment setup is required see for example here i am i am taking class the class is nothing but one program to continue means what to execute this program one environment setup is required so many things required right for example here it is a board a marker right one a room environment setup in the same way if you want to execute any program c program c++ java also one environment setup is required so generally c and c++ programs executes in the original environment of operating system either windows mac linux every operating system is having its own environment to execute the program whenever we click on a program it is executing in the background with the help of operating system to run that application operating system will set one environment from that environment only we can execute the program but if you want to execute c or c++ programs from the original environment it is very complex thing so as a basic programmer as a learner right directly it is not possible to work with a operating system environments so that's why they introduce the concept of ide it's a duplicate environment where we can easily write compile and run applications the best example easily we can understand is a blue screen is a blue screen this is called ide where we can easily write compile and run c applications compile c applications using a blue screen here if you want to write the program whenever we open the blue screen software right an editor will open that editor is in a blue color here it is the blue screen we can divide it into two parts two parts the blue screen is called editor so whatever the screen which is appear in a blue color is called editor and next one where we can see the output is called a console this is a black screen this is a black screen so using this editor using this ide as a basic c programmer as a learner easily we can develop applications right here it is first directly we can write the program after writing the program if you want to save a shortcut they have given you can press a functional key f2 whenever you press the functional key f2 so then automatically it will ask what is the name of the application including path right so directly we can save our application with a dot c extension 
after saving now we need to compile how to compile how to compile here it is a shortcut they have given by holding the alt button we have to press f9 key a functional key f9 so with the help of alt button by holding the alt key you have to press f9 functional key then your program will be compiled automatically and if you want to run the out program by holding the control button you have to press f9 symbol control f9 so whenever you press the shortcut control f9 sir then what is happening in the background that is a bit complex process in the coming concepts we can understand but as of now as a learner right you are just starting how to learn programming and all using c language so that's why that much complexity is not important so later we'll see in the coming concepts but here it is if you want to write compile and run the programs use these shortcuts for saving the program f2 to compile the application alt f9 to run the application control f9 right after that if you want to see the output of the program here it is simply to maximize the console to maximize the console if you maximize the console so then only we can see the output to maximize the console we need to press alt f5 a shortcut key alt f5 we have to press so then so automatically the black screen will open the black screen will maximize and so that you can see the output of the program that what we have written in the blue screen whenever the blue screen is in a minimize mode so then console is in a maximize mode whenever console is in a minimize mode and here it is a blue screen will in a maximize mode so at a time you can open only so one screen either blue screen or black screen in this ide and remember these shortcuts not belongs to c language this is not a c language right here it is to make our task very easy we are using ides so so before using ide so first we have to learn right how to use that ide first you have to study right some of the things about a ide so then only you can start working with this ide number of ides are available in this market hundreds of hundreds of ides slowly you will understand right all the ides but the basic ide and the standard ide to develop c programs is a blue screen right so this is our discussion about a ide and this is what is a library and what is ide so by using these two right so now so we are going to start first c application all right so that we'll see in the next session all right thank you thank you for watching